we discuss the third solution for the data hazard that is instruction reordering so in in this process we just reorder the instruction to remove the stop okay only simple the independent instruction will will put in between two instructions where the stalls are there so for this so this take this example so where the stalls you can say so here uh, producing the value of r1 here using the value of r1 so how many stalls you remove remember the stalling is just two stall so no so what we can do we just put this two instruction so you can just see so here the registers are independent to this so we can put multiply and division instruction in between this okay so first draw the time phase diagram to see that there is a two stall what i a i t v s memory write back i a i d stall stall then v s memory write back here i a i d v s memory write back stall stall then i a will start here i a i d v s memory So how many clock cycles are required? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten clock cycles required. Okay, ten clock cycles are required. Now, so how it will be improved by using instruction reordering? So what I have said. Just for this multiplying division instruction, we just do two independent instruction to the subtract. Okay, so just for these two instruction in between this. So what will be the result? R, R one, R two, R three, and subtract R not subtract sorry multiply multiply R six. R seven, R eight, division, R nine, R ten, R eleven, then subtract R four, R one, R five. Okay. I just draw the time phase diagram for this. So at first clock cycle, I F, then second I D, third execute. Four memory, fifth write back. So I F, then I D, X memory, and sixth one should be the write back. I F, I D, X memory, then write back. I F, I D. Yes, memory, write back at eight clock second. Okay, so here we are producing the value of hour. Here we are reading the value of hour at fifth clock second. So there is no stop. So how many clock cycles are required? Eight clock cycles required. Okay, so that means put. Two independent instruction in between the dependent instruction. So here, R and subtract are the are the dependent instruction because of R one. So put two independent instruction in between this so that we can remove the stop. Now I will show you another example here. Okay, so there is seven instruction. Okay, so can you tell me where are the dependent instruction? So here it is producing the R one using the value of R one. Here producing the value of R three using the value of R three. Okay, and there is no dependency. Okay, but 
when you analysis we can see this is the independent this is the independent this is the independent this is the independent instruction but when you reorder the instruction okay when you reorder the instruction make sure here we are reading the value of r code here you are writing the value of r code so never put i type before i type never put i type before i type okay why because here we are writing up the r code here we are reading the value of r code if you put before this then you will get the wrong value of r code here okay so makes it, so just analysis it which two instruction you can put between i1 and i2 which two instruction you can put between i2 and i4 okay so after that analysis then you can do correctly that your analysis is correct okay now what is the solution for this solution is i1 then so in between i1 what i put i cannot put i5 so i can put i6 and i7 i6 and i7 then i can do i2 okay now after the i2 so here it is to dependency i2 and i4 so what i can do in between i can put i3 is only there so i just put i5 i3 and i5 then you can do i4 that means i1 i6 i7 i2 i3 i5 i4 so if you will so how many clock cycles are required here for the solution and here here will be the answer so so how many clock cycles are required here So for this example, without instruction reordering, it will take fourteen clock cycle. Just draw the time phase diagram. Okay, for this example, and if I am using the instruction reordering, the solution is this, and the number of clock cycle equal is eleven clock cycle. Okay, just find out this two answer. So. Draw the time phase diagram for this. So, so here I have drawn it already. You just see the 14 clock cycles are required. Okay. Now, after the instruction reordering, draw the time phase diagram for this. The answer will be the number of clock cycles is 11. Okay. So, without the instruction reordering, we are requiring 14 clock cycle. And after the instruction reordering, we are getting the 11 clock cycles. That means the three stalls we have. Okay. That is your instruction reordering.